nitrogen because obviously you've got a lot of greenery, therefore you've got protein, therefore you've got nitrogen. As from a farming point of view, should we be having... Oh, I've always been taught ex excess nitrogen breeds bacteria yeah. and the low level of fungi. Who needs fungi when you've got quick 20 minute re re uh, repeating, replicating bacteria? So what you're actually saying we need more nitrogen within the system rather than less. I think when you're starting off the system, you've got to get the balance right between the carbon and the nitrogen. Yeah. Most of the systems will have a, a lot of carbon when you're starting off and you don't have the available nitrogen for the bugs to work to break the carbon down. Mm -hmm. So early days, you need to keep the nitrogen in... From where I look at it, you need to keep the nitrogen going to get those plants established. Mm -hmm feed all the bugs, bacteria and fungi to get it all going. Now after a while these are going to break down and that's going to start to provide more and more nitrogen. So as the system goes, as you go down the line, um, I think that need sort of reduces. Okay, so then you can reduce your nitrogen. <clears throat> but then you can reduce your nitrogen as you, as you go. And what do you, where do you envisage your nitrogen usage in say 10 years time, after 10 years of this type of thing? <sighs> Who knows, I mean for instance spring barley we've cut um, what did we put in the spring barley? 110 or 120 kilos from 160, so down 30%. Yeah. And we're still having nitrogens too high this year. Yeah. Um, that was with a cover crop of oats and beans. So, you know, if you start growing barley with sort of two thirds of the nitrogen that you used to have, um, you know, and you, you say you cut it all down by two thirds, I don't know, George, where have you gone with yours? We, we, at the moment, we've kept everything the same. In fact, we did cut the wheat back a little bit this year. Um, I haven't cut wheat back yet, I have to say. That might have been a mistake, to be honest. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would envisage in a couple of years' time it coming down by a, by a third, probably. Yeah. Um, maybe not in one hit, but no, over I time. Over time, I def it's, it's definitely going to come down because yeah. um, you know there's more legumes in the system, um, and and we're definitely seeing more activity in the soil, and that's yeah. only going to make more nutrition more available. Yeah.